like she was with strangers. A back to school nightmare for a Detroit mother. Her daughter with special needs sent to the wrong school for days. The shocking story you'll only see here on Action News. It's our top story tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. When the school bus comes and picks up your child, you assume you know where they are. Well, a mother with a special needs child thought the school bus was taking her daughter to Diane Banks Williamson Education Center on Detroit's east side. Turns out she was being taken to Jerry L. White Center on the city's west side. Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live outside Jerry L. White School with a story you'll see only on 7. And Ali, how could this have happened? Well, both schools are part of the Detroit public school system and a representative with DPS told me tonight they really don't understand how this special needs student ended up at the wrong school. My daughter, she cannot talk. She cannot communicate where she's been. 13 year old Desiree Williams has cerebral palsy. Her mother, Sharita Mason, says a few weeks ago she went to check out Diane Banks Williamson Education Center and like what she saw. She enrolled her daughter in the school, dressing Desiree up in a Diane Banks Williamson Education Center polo shirt for her first day. Yesterday, she got some shocking news on where her daughter has actually been attending school. I called Diane Banks trying to change my daughter's address for her drop off and they told me that she wasn't attending the school. Instead, Desiree's school bus has been taking her 17 miles away from the school she was supposed to be attending to Jerry L. White Center. The schools are a good 20 minute drive away from one another. Mason says she's never met the teachers at Jerry L. White Center. I don't know nobody at all at this school. I like to know who my child is dealing with. A representative with Detroit Public Schools told me over the phone they were under the impression Mason had signed her daughter up to attend Jerry L. White, stating Mason had filled out paperwork on Jerry L. White school grounds. I never stepped foot inside that school. Never. Detroit Public Schools did not send us a statement, but says Desiree got the appropriate care while attending Jerry L. White. I want parents, I don't want parents to feel the way that I felt. I, I want the parents to always know where their kids at at all time. Should no parent have to go through that? Now, come Monday when the school bus picks up Desiree, she will be going to Diane Banks Williamson Educational Center and not here. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. Good to see everything all straightened up there, Allie. Thank you. Now, this story had us so shocked, we wanted to reach out to a local expert to find out a little more about what parents can do to protect their kids. We spoke with Karen Ivey from Michigan Alliance for Families. She tells us parents should receive an individualized education plan ahead of the school year, outlining a program for their kids. Within that plan, it should show what school or what program the child is um, registered for for the next school year. That, again, is a piece of paper that's very important, that IEP, that the parents should know exactly what's in it and they should know exactly what it means and how it supports. There should be everything in there that's going to support that child for the entire school year. Ivy also says mistakes do happen during the first few weeks of school. We posted this story to our website, WXYZ.com, but definitely something to keep a close eye on for parents.